Welcome back my little marines. It's time to do episode three of airbrushing for the beginner. Now, as you've seen in the thumbnail, this one's called the Assault Course. Now, behind me here on the big easel, I've drew up a little Assault Course. Now, you can do this yourself and break this up into little pieces and just sort of go along with it. It just makes it a little bit more interesting because lines and dots can be very boring. But now I've done the Assault Course, it just gives it a little bit more fun to airbrushing as you are learning these and practicing these two techniques. I'll, I'll get my brush cleaned up, hopefully you've got your brush cleaned up. I'll pan around with the camera, set you up on the tripod and I'll talk you through the assault course. Right my little marines, it's time to show you the airbrush assault course for beginners. Now this is set up for your dots and your lines that you learned in episode two. So basically you're doing the on and off line work and you're doing your dots, but we're going to concentrate more on distance. So you'll do small dots, you'll back off with the brush, you'll have to do a bigger dot, and you're sort of going backwards and forwards on your distance to create a small dot, big dot as you go along. Now, first off, we start here on the assault course. So you're going to be starting here, and these, these yellow dots represent you moving up the assault course. Now, as you can see, you've got small dots, and they're different sizes. I want you to go in, and fill the circles with your airbrush. So you're gonna go in close to fill the small ones, back off to do the big ones. You work round. Then you've got the planks going up. So we've got to do some line work going left and right in between the two pole columns here, up to the top, move over, and then you come down the cargo net, which is dot work inside the cargo net working down. Then you're back on your feet, coming round here, up and down with your dots again on your distance with your brush working up. Then you've got to run fast. You've got to get your line in between the two run lines here. Run round with your line. Come back round to the dots. So you're going distance up and down again with your brush. Fill in the dots. You've got two plank walks. So straight lines along here. Start and stop on your lines. Coming down. Back onto your dot work. Coming up. Fill in the dots. And then you're onto these half moon daggers. So you're doing line work on and off with your trigger, small working up, half moons that way, running back over your dots, and then you've got your half moon dagger strokes this way, coming round, back onto your dots running round. Then you've got the plank line, so you're going up and down with your dagger strokes this way with your brush. And this is gonna get you to move with your brush different angles and different ways. Coming around with your dots again, so small, going in close, dot work, moving back with the brush, getting dots, filling these dots in. Then we move on to the shading section. So you've got the balls here, and these arrows represent which way the light source is coming in. So it'll be bright on this side, you're shading to the underneath, bright this way, shade to the underneath, bright coming down, shade to the underneath. Then we move round, back on the dots, you've got some smaller, dagger strokes left and right going up the ladder and then you do one big long continuous line on the zip line going all the way down stop and then we finish and clean the brush so I'm going to give this a go I'm probably going to absolutely balls it up but I'll give it a go I'll talk you through it as we go along on distances and things like that. It makes it a little bit more fun than just doing dots and lines on a piece of work. It just gives you something to concentrate on as you're moving around the assault course. Doing these exercises just makes it a little bit more fun, guys, because you can go absolutely crazy just doing dots and lines. And you go to sleep at night, close your eyes, you just see dots, lines, dots, lines. So the assault course is gonna be a challenge for me, let alone you. So enjoy the video, guys. I'll stick it on the tripod and I'll talk you through as we go along and hopefully do it in a good time. So I'll see you in a bit. Right guys, we are set up. So hopefully you've got your brush cleaned out. I've took the crown cap off the front of this because it's really warm in here tonight. It's 28.5 degrees in here and it's roasting. Hopefully this is picking it up so you can see on this what we're gonna be doing. I'm on the chair to do this top half, then I'm gonna move the chair away and kneel down to get this bottom half here. So we're starting off on dots. So you're going distance with your brush and you're aiming to get the first dot filled. 
So work your way up. And I'm just sort of moving the brush back a bit to fill the dot. Like that, moving closer. Get the dots, fill the dots. So you're moving back. Fill the dots, moving in close. Like that. So we've got the dots going up, so we've walked up to this piece, now we're onto the planks going up. So this is the on-off trigger and you've got to get it in between these two here. So walk up with your lines. Like so. Then we're moving around to the cargo net, so a dot on the cargo net in between the gaps coming down so you'll get the right distance with your brush keep that distance so you're balancing your hand this one to keep that same distance and you're just bringing that trigger back and forward trigger control on your dots working down like so Work your way down. Right, we've done the cargo net. A little check of the tip dry. Clean through. Back onto the dots here, so in close with this one. Back in off for that one. Back in close for that. Back off for that. A little bit more closer for that one. Dot that one. Dot. They're small. Move back a bit. Open that one up for that dot. Now we're on to the run fast. So you're going to guide your brush, keep your other hand, and I said in the episode two where you can put your other hand and like just so you can comfort, comfortable like get comfortable with your brush and it just steadies it as you move. So Right, we've done that one, we're moving on to the dots again, coming round, so big, moving in small, like that. Backing off, backing off for that one, in close for that one, backing off for that, in, in close. Back off for that one. Now we're on the straight lines. Down on that one, back onto your dots. Down on the straight lines for that, onto the dots. Distance again guys, moving the brush in and out for your distances. Now I'm going to get the chair because I need to sit down for this bit. Right, we're doing daggers going half moon this way. Completed that one, onto the dots again, so moving in with the brush, finding them small dots, backing off, getting the distance, moving in again, bit more paint on that one, down, down on them dots. Moving round to the daggers this way, and you can go over twice if you need to, just to darken it off, because this paint's really thin. down here right we're moving down to this piece on the dots again getting your distance and the trigger response because you're losing a lot less paint when going smaller backing off a little bit more paint on that trigger backing off moving in back off to fill that one now we're on the lines going up and down so you can use your other hand just to steady yourself as you're going in, like that, back onto the dots, 
and I'm going all over the place on this. Filling the dots in, moving in, moving back out, same again out, moving back in close. Now we're kneeling down. Fill the dot, now we're doing the shading. So we've got the highlights at the top, we need to shade the bottom to a drop shadow. So we're gonna start off do the half moons, just build that shading out. Getting your distances again. I just hope this head comes picking this up. We've done the dots. Now we're working up the ladder to the zip line to the finish. So we've got to do some lines, smaller stop start lines going across. Like so. And now the zip line. <laughs> Right, so you're going to start on the zip line and then sort of follow down. That's the zip line can finished and you're done guys and you can clean your brush. We have completed the assault course and we are ready to clean the brush. Now, just open your cap up. We've got some paint left over, so decant your paint back into your cup or your pot that you're saving your painting. First off, grab some water, give that a little clean through with a cotton bud, because you might have a little bit of dried up paint. Just give that a little white round, like that. Empty that out. Another bit of water, and we're gonna do a back flush. Now, I've got the crown cap off, so take your crown cap off pinch over the front, press down on your brush for air, and just move back as though you was going to paint. Not all the way back, just slightly back, and it will bubble up like that. Just bubble back, empty it into your spare pot, little blast through, little blast through the water again. Check on some paper towel that you've Blasting through clear, which you are. Use that water you just blasted on. Wipe your brush. Put your lid back on. Put your crown cap back on. And you are good to go for the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed this one, guys, on the assault course. It just makes it a little bit more fun for when you're practicing your dagger strokes, your lines, your dots, moving with your brush. It gets you moving around on a bigger area instead of being on a piece of paper or paper and doing lines and dots it just makes it a little bit more interesting so i thought i'd do you an assault course so i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you join me in episode three when we move on and progress on to some more fun stuff with the airbrush so thanks for watching guys don't forget if you're new to this channel click that subscribe press that notification and i'll see you lot in episode three cheers guys